Scottish physics overall is enormously important in the history of physics. And just a few years ago, we celebrated an anniversary of the work of James Clerk Maxwell. We had Kelvin here in Glasgow, and it's of course after him that the Kelvin temperature scale is, is named. At Edinburgh. Most recently, of course, we have Peter Higgs and the Higgs boson, who has had a leading uh, effect on us for, uh, for many decades. We see um, various aspects of physics in Scotland still right at the cutting edge of what's interesting in science, in particle physics, in astronomy, cosmology and of course gravitational waves. ZUPA is the Scottish University's Physics Alliance. It has eight university partners. ZUPA offers a single front door for physics in Scotland. ZUPA was formed to place Scotland at the forefront of international physics research and advanced training for PhD students. SUPA brings together the different physics departments in Scotland in terms of research, um, graduate student training and visibility for physics in Scotland. SUPA is a, really a network of over 1,200 physicists, the professors, the lecturers, the postdocs, the PhD students. The environment SUPA has created has helped us to attract some leading uh, international researchers. SUPA has given us opportunities to develop some um, really internationally leading facilities. The graduate school has been uh, extraordinarily good at bringing in very high quality candidates to all of the Scottish Physics Departments. The graduate school is really one of the key parts of SUPA. It allows students at one institution to, to get expertise from another institution. The benefit is through SUPA from their virtual classroom which allowed me to take courses in optics and photonics from Strathclyde and Glasgow University while being based at Harriet Watt. I got a grant from SUPA which allowed me to go to CERN to work towards testing a prototype of a detector. One of the highlights of the SUPA programme is the annual SUPA conference, uh, which allows you to meet researchers like yourself from different parts of Scotland and talk about your research in a relaxed setting. We are graduating off the order of 150 students a year who then go on to do world-class research. I'm a lecturer at the University of Glasgow. During my PhD at Strathclyde University, I was part of the super grad school and it was just a great opportunity to get to know uh, many research fields and many people from all over Scotland. Super comprises of seven topical themes and we have theme leaders for each of the seven themes. I'm the theme leader for astronomy and space sciences. SUPA has an important role to play in sort of keeping the Scottish community and astronomy together. It keeps lines of communication open and sometimes opens new ones too. I am the leader in condensed matter and materials science within SUPA. We have some world leading equipment within the theme, for example, electron microscopy, electron spin resonance measurements, electron spin imaging. I'm the theme leader for nuclear and plasma physics. Having themes means that we can effectively operate as bigger research groups coming together to operate on uh, similar research projects. There are a diverse range of energy interests, generation and storage, and also coping with networks. Super creates the umbrella in which all of this is brought together. Because we've been working together more, there's been opportunities for collaboration between the work that we're doing in Edinburgh and Glasgow. I think that's made particle physics in Scotland much stronger. Photonics within SUPA is really one of our major strengths. SUPA Photonics provides us with a platform to harness all of those skills for the benefit of our graduate students. I'm the theme leader for the Physics and Life Sciences team within SUPA. SUPA has helped to support early career researchers, for example, short-term exchange visits. Uh, we've had one researcher spending time at the University of Shantou in China. Working with businesses, the whole area of knowledge exchange is important to us. So we work with industry-facing organisations like the Fraunhofer UK organisation. And there's been an increase in the number of spin-out companies. Since I finished my PhD, I founded a company called Razorville Instruments. We sell research equipment to physicists around the world. The interaction between the companies and the universities in Scotland is much more powerful than if SUPA didn't exist. One of the chief goals through the creation of SUPA was to allow us to leverage funding for large-scale projects that perhaps would not be feasible for an individual institution to tackle on their own. SCARPA is the Scottish Centre for the Application of Plasma-Based Accelerators. 
We have a um, 350 terawatt laser so we can produce femtosecond pulses. These are incredibly short pulses or high energy pa particle beams or gamma rays. Super really made this possible. The Center of Design Art Quantum Materials is a collection of infrastructure as well as people whose common target is actually to understand where quantum materials properties come from. This whole facility wouldn't be possible without the support which we received through SUPA. We do some work at CERN where we work on the Large Hadron Collider. We also have a new theme working on neutrino physics in the US and Japan that are going to look at neutrinos in detail. We developed the special suspension systems that were needed for the LIGO interferometers in the US. Our input, uh, there is no doubt, you know, allowed the gravitational waves to be discovered. SUPA has given us the opportunity to increase, I would say, our visibility, our capability and our partnerships more globally. Scottish physics institutions through SUPA are very much at the forefront of some of the most exciting modern topics in physics today. That sets us up well for producing uh, the next Kelvins and James Watts of, of the coming generations.